However, we're, we're trying to veer toward the common, um, uh, very postmodern and high concept like uh, Shakespeare's been performed in the last couple of decades. We're definitely working within that tradition. Uh, it ends uh, ambiguously with the death of Sin of the Poet, right? And so that's a, a, a dramatic challenge to what your uh, narrative imagination is sort of, you know, anyway. It was a, a, a joy performing this, but I want to honor and recognize uh, David Bishop. I don't know. He is our casting director, and uh, his disposition, uh, which, was, which was quite cheerful and good, good natured, uh, made this thing survive. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> drunk, my own drunkenness would have, would have catapulted it. We hope you enjoy it very much. Uh, it, Without further ado, uh, Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. Sure. 
or we will shake it, or it stays in your room. Brutus and the other conspirators decide to kill Caesar but spare Antony. Portia begs Brutus, her husband, to explain this change in mood. Storm clouds gather. It must be by his death. And for my part, I know no personal cause to spurn in him, but for the general. It is the bright day that brings forth the atom. Therefore, think him as a serpent's egg, which, hatched, would, as his kind, grow mischievous and kill him in the shell. They are the fashion, O conspiracy, where wilt thou find the cavern dark enough to mask thy monstrous visage? Give me your hands all over, one by one. And let us swear our resolution. Shall no man else be touched but only Caesar? But Antony and Caesar fall together. Our course will seem too bloody, Caius Cassius, to cut the head off and then hack the limbs. For Antony is but a limb of Caesar. Let's kill him boldly, but not wrathfully, which shall appearing in the common eyes, we shall be called perjurers, not murderers. Yeah, I fear him. Where's the engrafted, engrafted bug he bears? The clock has stricken three. It's time to part. Brutus, my lord. Marcia, what do you feel? Wherefore rise you now? You run gently, Brutus. Stole from my bed. And when I asked you what the matter was, you stared upon me and stamped with your foot. Dear my lord, make me acquainted with your cause of grief. I am not well in health, and that is all. What? Is Brutus sick? I will he steal out of his wholesome bed to dare the vile contagion of the night to add unto his sickness? No, my Brutus, you have some sick offense within your, within your mind, which I ought to know of. And upon my knees I charm you by my once commended beauty, that you unfold to me, yourself, your half, why you are heavy, and what men tonight have had to resort to you. Kneel not, gentle Portia. I should not kneel. You were gentle with me, well I but in the suburbs of your good pleasure. If it be no more, Portia was Bruce's harlot, not his wife. You are my true and honorable wife, as dear to me as though the ruddy drops did visit my sad heart. If this were true, then I should know the secret. O oh, ye gods, render me worthy of this noble wife. Portia, go on a while, and by and by thy bosom shall partake the secrets of my heart. Follow me. The dangerous day has arrived. Fearing for his safety, Calpurnia urges him to stay home. But does he listen? No. Typical man. <laughs> Yes. 
coming of Caesar. Then Antony cleverly turns a crowd against Brutus and the other conspirators. Politicians in their speeches, some things never do. <laughs>
All right. With that, we end our introduction of Julie Caesar. Well done, staff, our students, and <laughs> just um, that wraps up our event. Almost the end. Um, uh, before uh, before I went on to the very closing part, I did want to definitely make mention of those people and give thanks for those behind the scenes, especially that made this possible, especially Manager Hall or organized the backyard. So let's give them a round of applause. For that. Congratulations once again, students, um, and I'm very proud of you for your work tonight. Um, in terms of just finishing up, we, uh, let's see here, after I have Father Paul lead us in a closing prayer, um, then it's cleanup. For those who are so inclined, you can come to Master Hall or um, uh, Christy Gleeke, uh, they'll be able to assign you parts. Um, also, students in particular, and parents of students, note that the arts needs to be taken down ASAP. So after the dismissal, if you could do that, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and then uh, I hope we are, you're welcome to stay for fellowship afterwards as well. We tend to uh, stay so the, the sun goes down for the students. They remember it as a kind of a nice little tradition that we have. So with that, I think we are at our end. Is that, is that three minutes or all? Okay, great. So, uh, once again, let's give a final clap for this report. Thank you all for being here.